the cost increase for the suspended ceiling over the open plenum is only 85 cents a square foot. That translates into a range of increased ceiling costs from about 14.7 up to 22% more for a suspended ceiling than for an open plenum. Now that, uh, when you look at the food store, of course, uh, the, the, the general, the suspended ceiling system is not the level of finish as we have in the office, and we see a range from 30 cents a square foot up to uh, 71 cents a square foot, 30 cents a square foot in Oklahoma and 71 cents a square foot for Orlando. But that really only translates to about a 4.1 up to a 10.6% increase in costs for the suspended ceiling system. Now we look, okay, it costs a little more to put a ceiling in, but what are the advantages? What are the, what are the benefits in terms of direct dollars? Uh, reduced cost in maintenance, reduced cost in energy, but then we're going to look a bit at what are the performance advantages beyond direct cost savings. Here we, in the five different regions, the maintenance costs uh, can range from here, from uh, uh, 73 cents a square foot uh, in Orlando to as high as $1.80 a square foot in Chicago. And when we translate those maintenance costs, while it's difficult to quantify exactly how much less maintenance we'd have for a suspended ceiling than for an open plenum, but the energy component of those maintenance costs is, is very definable.